Hello, it's Pastor Keith, and it's morning prayer for Labor Day, September 4th, 2023. And the appointed reading for today is Psalm 17. It's uh, very similar to the readings we had yesterday for uh, uh, Sunday in church, the 14th Sunday after Pentecost, where we talked about uh, where Jeremiah and Paul and, and Peter and, and company talked about how they were faithful to God, but God did not seem to be faithful to them. They were going through all sorts of trials and tribulations that seemed related to speaking truth to power and loving their neighbor, and they were very confused. Well, hear this. Hear a just cause, O Lord, attend to my cry. Give ear to my prayer from lips, free of deceit. From you let my vindication come. Let your eyes see the right. They're calling to God to see the right. So, if you try my heart, if you visit me by night, if you test me, you will find no wickedness in me. My mouth does not transgress. As for what others do, by the word of your lips, I have avoided the ways of the violent. My steps have held fast to your paths. My feet have not slipped. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me. Hear my words. Wondrously show your steadfast love. O Savior of those who seek refuge from their adversaries at your right hand. Guard me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. From the wicked who despoil me, my deadly enemies who surround me. They close their hearts to pity. With their mouths they speak arrogantly. <clears throat> they track... <clears throat> They track me down now. They surround me. They set their eyes to cast me to the ground. They are like a lion eager to tear, like a young lion lurking in the ambush. A prayer to God for help. Rise up, O Lord. Confront them. Overthrow them. By your sword, deliver my life from the wicked. From mortals, by your hand, O Lord from mortals whose portion in life is in this world. May their bellies be filled with what you have stored up for them. May their children have more than enough. May they leave something over to their little ones. As for me, I shall behold your face in righteousness. When I awake, I shall be satisfied beholding your likeness. See how... The psalmist is saying, Lord, I have been faithful. Show me your steadfast love when I am persecuted for following you. There may be days where we're going to be facing here trials and tribulations for trying to be faithful to Jesus. Not in a Christian persecution, complex, like a lot of uh, extremist uh, fundamentalist people talk about, but by, treat, by people who, following Jesus, try to love their neighbors, try to love each other, try to love themselves. We're going to be facing some difficult choices. It's going to get harder, not easier, but harder to follow Jesus. We need to be aware of that and be ready for it. And we need to hold God to account. It's part of the dynamic of being in a relationship. And that holds true with for a relationship, even with God. Here's a prayer for guidance and protection from St. Thomas a Kempis. A pule kako, let us pray. Write your blessed name, O Lord, upon my heart there to remain so indelibly graven that no prosperity, no adversity shall ever move me from your love. Be to me a strong tower of defense, a comforter in tribulation, 
a deliverer in distress, a very he present help in trouble, and a guide to heaven through the many temptations and dangers of this life. Amen. A prayer for guidance and protection. And now, may the God of steadfast love, the Creator, the Redeemer, and the Sanctifier, protect you, guide you, nurture you throughout this day and the rest of the week. Amen.